Hey everyone, Core here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own YouTube background template, and uh, this way it's just how you want it. It's just how you want it on your YouTube channel, and uh, it's going to be the whole length, so it's never, it's not going to fade to black. And uh, it's also like the one if you've seen my channel on uh, on this one on OMFG or GameVids. Uh, they're both long the whole way down, and they look awesome. Uh, if you're using Chrome, what you're going to do is you're going to need to get this um, the extension. The link is going to be in the description, and uh, also, oops, also if you're on a uh, Firefox, then there's also one for Firefox. Uh, for Firefox, it's, I'm going to show you real quick. It's down here. You just go to Save, um, Complete Page Frame, and then um, on Chrome, you want to go to your channel, and uh, you do the same on um, on the uh, on Firefox. But uh, I'm going to show you on Chrome because that's what I use. And again, this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's the whole way down here. Um, it's customizable how I want it. I did have it cut out, uh, but you know, it looked a little. It didn't look as great as I thought it would. So I, I just made it like a s very simple and all that stuff. And then uh, this right here, this game vids was made by uh, Famous HD in um, in Cinema 4D. That way, it's 3D and uh, it's awesome. So thank you, Famous. And um, yeah. But anyhow, what you want to do is you want to uh, go up to your themes and colors, and then hit gray. Um, gray is about the best one. And then save the changes. Now, you want to make sure that, um, now, there's going to be different things. Like if someone views your profile, down here it will say report. Uh, so if you want to sign out and then get a picture, it's fine. Uh, if not, then just try to guess uh, where the, the report is going to be, because sometimes it's not always perfect. Um, it might be down here, and then if you, uh, like down here, and if you cut it off. But, uh... But yeah, so what you want to do is scroll the whole way up, and if you're using the, the Avari or whatever, it's, however it's pronounced, Avari, whatever, um, just come here to capture entire page. And uh, I, I use Chrome, uh, Chrome's the favorite, my favorite, and uh, that's why I use it. But uh, on Firefox, all you have to do is click that little thing and then hit save entire page, and then you don't have to do this. But uh, with this, all you have to do then is hit save the desktop. Wait for it, and then change. Just save it as the doodle. Um, I found out that if you change, well, at least for me, um, if I change the name, um, it messes up, and then it's not a real file. So just save it as the name it gives you, and then uh, we can get out of here, and eh, we'll leave it open. So we're gonna go to our Photoshop, and then what you wanna do is after you get the picture from whether you're on Chrome or you're on uh, Firefox, you wanna open it up, and then come over here to uh, the masking tool, and then drag the whole way from the bottom. And then drag kind of up to the white right here. And uh, then we're going to hit control and uh, the plus sign and zoom in and so we can see it. Zoom up to where it's at. Zoom in kind of bit, uh, kind of close. And uh, then what you want to do is scroll it down. And you want to get it where it's like this. You want to get it the background and only the background. So scroll down till right on the edge. And if you mess this up, then it's going to be wrong. So make sure you just like get right there and then hit enter and then you can zoom back out. So now and then make sure that there's like no like no uh, gray or whatever up here that way you know you got it perfect. Then what you want to do is hit a new layer and now we're going to start masking out the parts. Uh, the reason why I choose the gray is because your background's gray. The, um, the boxes are like a whitish and yeah. So then what we're going to do is just come up here get our, our marquee tool our rectangular rectangular sorry rectangular and uh, just drag it out and then what you want to do is when you're doing it like this you want to make sure that the the boxes are on the inside of it uh, I'll show you in a second what I don't mean as you can see like if I have the insides on the right and then I don't have it on the inside on the bottom uh, that will mess it up just make sure it's only the blacks are on the inside and then just fill that in with white and then just do that with everything every box and then uh, once you do that, uh, sorry, I'm not talking. I'm trying to focus on getting it perfect. So just all you have to do is just like, like I said, just uh, mask out all the boxes with your rectangular marquee tool because they're all rectangles, and fill them with white. And then, uh, if you want the video boxes, oops, if you want the video boxes well, then you can do that. Um, I also don't recommend putting a box here in this area. It looks kind of weird. Most of you get it wrong. Um, this way you can't get it wrong, but it still looks really weird, and I like it just how the YouTube 
background is. Oops, control Z. And see, as, as you can see, I messed up. So make sure that it's perfect in all corners um, before you start messing with it. Um, because I made a background earlier and then I uploaded it. And uh, I, I spent like half an hour making it. And then it was wrong. And I was I was a little sad um, because I didn't I didn't check it. I like I just did it and figured it was right. And uh, it wasn't. So, um, and also depending on how you watch the videos depends on where the stuff's gonna be. Like like I said, if you're on your channel looking at it, then the subscribe button will be there, uh, which I found out. And um, if you don't look at it, if you look at it when you're not on your channel, or yeah, when you're not on your channel and that channel is already subscribed to you, because I got on OMF, I got on this channel and then looked at it on uh, Game Vids and. Uh, the subscribe button wasn't there and I didn't think about it and uh, it messed up my whole video my whole portion and I had to figure out where it was supposed to be and all that stuff but yeah so uh, just make sure you get all these film with white um, make sure you do it like just just copy it exactly how it is because um, it's right and like I said right here um, if you look on a different channel the report will be longer if you just copy it like this it it's going to be wrong so uh, you're gonna want to change that. Um, just like drag it out. Try to see where it's at on your channel. Uh, what I did was I compared. I, I then logged in and compared to what it was on my comments, and uh, it was actually right here on Fatal HD. Um, I lined it up. I lined it up um, like right here, and then that was perfect. So in that area, I'm actually gonna do that because it's gonna be around that area. Just drag, whatever, drag around here, you know, doesn't have to be perfect, well, for you it has to be perfect, please don't mess it up, but, uh, you know, just double check everything, oops, double check everything, make sure it's all perfect, uh, kind of like that, um, also, you know, like, go through here, like, just, like, cut them apart, make sure they're all equally separated, and all that stuff, um, just try your best. Now we're gonna do our, our outside uh, once we get this, and now we're gonna do the gray box. So we're gonna make another new layer, and I'm um, actually gonna turn off this layer. We're gonna zoom back in. Now this part is a little trickier because, sorry if that was loud, sorry. <laughs> this part's a little trickier because they don't show up black, they show up a gray, but make sure it's on the inside, not on the outside, or one side's not on the inside, one side's not on the outside, so, you know, and then, like, right there, that's perfect. Just fill it in with white or whatever color you want. Uh, also, make sure you're on the new layer and you're not, like, combining these. Oops. Combining these because it will mess up your template. And then uh, just drag it down to the other corner. Right here. And then, uh, oops, drag down, drag out. Again, make sure it's perfect fill it in with white and then you can uh, start making a background and stuff um, make another new layer make a background um, what I do for my backgrounds is I make them black Oops. and then the gray 333 333 and then fill them in with 2500 soft brush click in the middle ish whatever you know and then I just make a background and then um, I duplicate the background, duplicate, and I put it on the other stuff, create a clipping mask, um, put a shadow on this, and then I do the bevel and emboss, which is how I showed you in the Chrome tutorial, so if you haven't seen that, uh, go watch that, change it to 1, oops, change it to, to 1, um, and then turn this one on. Change. And then I usually do the exact same thing to them. That way they look cool. Um, I like the 3D aspect of it. Uh, I mean, not like 3D, but like the, the I don't know what this is, like the chromish outro uh, outsides. Um, I think it looks cool. And then uh, once you do that, you know, you can get your backgrounds. You can uh, you can drag in backgrounds. Uh, one thing is that for any of you that have made backgrounds with pictures, um, it is going to be a little bit weirder because the pictures, if you stretch them, they will look bad. So, uh, but then you can just like start splicing um, your best friends if you're gonna really customize it are these things right here which are your ruler uh, like guidelines or whatever I'm not exactly sure what they are but I use them like all the time to see where I want to cut stuff and uh, all you ha then have to do is uh, 
use your background and then like line up where you're gonna cut like say you're gonna cut like everyone cuts out like here and does like the little angle so uh, you know you uh, you get like uh, like I mean really precise make it as precise as possible that way no one can say hey your stuff's messed up because uh, it's good I mean like I zoom in really far and I was like alright two four so I count down oops control Z make sure you click these not the things uh, you know and then I'd be like alright I'm gonna go six out so then I make this ruler and then I turn off my background I go back to the inside uh, make sure you label these two uh, inside outside whatever you want to name them just so you don't get confused on what you're when you're working on and then uh, right here we can take this pen tool uh, this is how you cut out stuff if you guys didn't know um, then just hold down shift and you'll get a straight oops you'll get a straight line try to go out further and then it'll come as you can see I clicked out further and then it was a straight line down and then uh, you can just click out here click here ish click here ish I don't think that's messed up yeah that is so I'll go control Z again uh, you know zoom in measure everything make it as perfect oops make it as perfect as possible because uh you know you don't want to realize that something's messed up and also when you're doing stuff like check it like every now and then check it and then right here we just go to inside and then delete and there we got like a cutout and then um that's how i do the cutouts if you guys were wondering and that's what our ba the background looks like so again uh the links oops the links are in the description to this that way you guys can make your perfect backgrounds um if you need any help on like cutting stuff out or something just leave a comment below I'll try to help you out again uh, for Chrome it's called Avery screen capture the links in the description and then um, for Firefox use the one that you always use because it will look different because uh, if I were to get a YouTube background like if I were to print the YouTube background off Firefox and then always view it on Chrome it will be messed up um, as long as it looks good to you it doesn't really matter how well it looks to other people and also I made this awesome desktop background um, again I used the, the font thing the picture that was uh, made by my friend famous HD I'll put his link in the description too he makes a um, HD intro well like makes 3d intros and all that stuff and he's really good he gave me this and then I made that so yeah if you guys have any questions comments below comments below um, and yeah, it's not that hard. All you have to do is if you want to just make it really basic, you know, just crop it out and then uh, do some uh, some some glossiness, uh, change the colors, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Uh, again, if you guys want color, go to color overlay and then change the color blend mode to color. And there, as you can see, it's just like the other thing, but now it's red. And then uh, yeah. So yeah, if hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Now you won't need uh, big people to make you intro. I mean, YouTube backgrounds and try to uh, charge you because now you can do it yourself. Um, if you're not great at graphics then uh, or good, not good at Photoshop, then you still have to do that. But this way, you guys can have the perfect template uh, fit to your thing, uh, your your actual channel. Nothing that's gonna fade and look shitty or all that other stuff. So again, if you guys have any questions or uh, need to say anything or whatever comment below and uh, I'll talk to you guys later have a great day and uh, if you guys also share me your backgrounds uh, show me your backgrounds send me uh, you know leave a comment be like oh Corey great thanks for the tip I made my background check it out and I'll check it out and I'll leave you a channel description and uh, I mean a channel comment and tell you what I think so talk to you guys later and uh, have a great day